Valley of Kashmir, beautiful even by the standards of the Indian subcontinent, lies under the shadow of war. Indian troops have been called on to repel guerrilla fighters near Srinagar, who, Delhi alleges, have the official support of the Pakistani government. Ever since independence, Indian possession of Kashmir, 85% Muslim, has been a thorn in the flesh of Pakistan. Resentment sometimes boils over, as now, when houses were destroyed on the outskirts of Srinagar. To ordinary people, it matters little whether they are governed by India or Pakistan. They want to live in peace. Onto the scene came United Nations military observers appointed when the ceasefire line was agreed 15 years ago. General Nimmo of Australia is their head. He saw a collection of arms taken from the guerrillas. According to Indian officers, they prove that the Pakistan government initiated the attacks. Karachi denies this, though admitting that the fighters have its sympathy. Some of the captured equipment is of Chinese make. People bereaved and made homeless in the struggle are the chief victims. Their earnest prayer is that India and Pakistan will settle their dispute and that peace and prosperity will return to Kashmir.